I already just got four freaking TVs. There's another one right here. This is insane. Look at this. my spot at Wawa so you already know today is gonna be a good day This happened again just pulled onto the island didn't even have time to do my intro or anything and I already found something that looks a little interesting let's see all right what we got is a half of a soft surfboard the only thing is I don't have a board that needs it but these fins right here would definitely be worth taking I don't know maybe I should take it nah I don't have anything to use it for but those these come out and that set of fins is probably worth i don't know maybe 30 bucks nothing crazy but definitely a mini score for someone right there but we're going to cruise the whole town and see what we can find what an epic morning always so nice to come out here bright and early and just see like the sun it's not the sunrise the sun already rose but the sun's obviously Wow, this looks crazy. Holy cow. This is super epic. All right, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. So as you can see, we're here bright and early on the beach. We are in one of the richest tourist towns around. Um, you already know what it is. We're gonna go trash picking. Let me jump up here so we can get a better angle. Look at this. This is crazy how this looks. Wow, the fog's like rolling off the, the ocean. Sun's coming up. The lifeguard boats are hung up still looking cool. Whew. The tourist season in New Jersey is kind of winding down. There's about two more weeks of heavy summer and then the fall, the off season starts to begin actually the off season for me is the best time to go to the beach the weather's a little bit more colder like not 90 degrees like it's going to be today and there's not as many people so like september is summer for me still but a lot of the people that come down start to go back home they go uh and they start to throw stuff out so my hope is that people have already began cleaning out and getting ready for summer to close down and then they're throwing stuff out so Either that or people just came down and rented places and they're throwing stuff out or they just got new stuff and they're throwing stuff out. So there's a lot of people from all over the country, mostly Pennsylvania, that come here for the summer and with them they bring money. So there's not always great stuff in the trash and there's not always a lot of stuff in the trash in this town, but the stuff that you do find is usually high quality. So. We're gonna go jump in the truck, cruise around the town, and see what we can find right here in the roadside trash. Let's do it. You guys already know what it is. Join me on this adventure. The treasure hunt begins now. All right, there's like a wagon right there. But you can see that the wheels are gone off of it. So they either like rusted off or they fell off. So I'm definitely not gonna take that. All right, I thought I saw something down here. Could be a false alarm, but we're going here anyway. 
we're gonna check it out what is it it's a basket it's a cat litter box and a bowl and yeah might as well hop out and check it out this house is for sale so we got sodium reduced beans baby shot glass in there the reason I hopped out is because this but I guess if I'm gonna go to the scrap yard I might as well grab the stainless steel not that that's gonna be worth much but it'll be worth a dollar or something this is kind of interesting. I think this is, what is this? For a cellar door? Because you can see like the part where you would open it. I didn't really know people had basements on the island, but. Well, at least not here, but obviously they do. I see the windows. That was a weird one. Let's see what they got right here. Looks like they got something cool. It's all rotten. this box right here and I was like what is that I thought it was a computer but nah it's just some trash in there I literally thought it was a laptop in the bag all right what caught my eye was a freaking box spring no the worst all right this caught my eye this was this is pretty cool. Might as well take what I can get here because not much out on the streets today, but little metal storage container for the outside maybe. All right, what do we got? A Panasonic TV. Let's see if it works. I'm gonna test it for sure before I take it because this thing's kind of a burden if it doesn't work, but we will see. Not seen a remote, but it's got all this stuff on the side. So I'm using this as an EBL power box, and this thing is amazing. So if it works, we should be good to go. The only thing is, how do you turn it on? Right over here. I guess they put TVs out. Oh, there we go. HDMI 1. Let's see. Menu. Looks like it works. This could be a big score, actually. Not worth a whole bunch of money, but this is the best thing we got today, I think. All right, I'm going to take it for sure. Might put it in the back seat, though. I did pick up a whole bunch of cardboard boxes for something that has nothing to do with the video that we're filming today. But my friend from Utah is actually coming here in like a week. And he does what is called high falls. Where he's a professional stuntman. But he jumps off of high things into basically a big mat at the bottom. And boxes are one of the things that we use to do those stunts. This is going to be a whole video. So you guys will see it. Kind of hard to explain, but that's what the boxes are for. Okay, so tested and approved, Panasonic TV. 
it's missing the remote but this TV has all of the buttons on the TV so you don't have to have the remote with this TV whereas the other TV that I have at my house that I got from the storage unit actually needs the remote this one does not thought I was going to be able to put it in here, but I got to put it in the back. This thing's huge. I basically went to the end of the island where all the really crazy houses are, and I went through there, didn't really find anything at all, but didn't lose hope. We still are here. We got faith that there's good stuff. Turned back around and came down through. And now I just found a massive TV. I don't know if the TVs are good for selling, but I got three more right here on the side and I'm about to take them because they're here, I'm here, let's get it. Three TVs, what are they doing here? That one's looking all crusty and ruined, but maybe this one? I don't even know if I want to deal with these, to be honest. Might have to pass on these. It does have a DVD player on the side, that's the only thing. I didn't test these even though I should have, but we got three TVs. We'll see what happens. Maybe I could just sell them for 20 each, 10 to 20 each, or yard sale items. All right, no joke, dead ass for real. There's another TV. I, I already just got four freaking TVs. There's another one right here. This is insane. Look at this. just scored it that was the fifth tv i got today so hopefully the tvs work out i don't know what to say is everybody getting a new tv in the whole town it's kind of funny though because it's actually really hilarious i'm not going to name names or anything but so there was a lady outside with her dog i grew up coming to this town from pennsylvania as a kid right and then eventually i moved to new jersey i'll tell this story in a second once i park all right, not sure of the condition, but this is a pretty solid thing to pick up around here. Actually, the condition doesn't look bad at all. We got two pen reels and an ugly stick. Or I mean pen rods, I should say. So these would be something that are not in perfect condition, but definitely something to look for. Uh, Cause these are great for a yard sale and maybe even just like a ten dollar each type of deal on facebook if somebody wanted to try to fix them this rod i had actually almost the same exact one these are pretty good these are cool the pen slammer maybe somebody wants those to repair not something that i would normally really pick up but the condition of these two boogie boards looks really good I guess they bought them for the summer and then they're throwing them out. I'm just kind of confused about it. There might be like some actual gold in here. But like these don't have anything wrong with them. Now we're definitely going to have to do a yard sale. Or they could be used for a video or something two boogie boards 
Okay, so I know that these videos can get pretty hectic because I'm driving up and down the streets, jumping in and out of the car, but I try my best to explain everything that's going on. I'm not afraid to pick something up and then just throw it out again. So if you get something that you're on the edge about, wow, that's a mattress right there. It's almost like I needed that, but not today, not today. When you get something that uh, you question whether it's even worth picking up, I know I have a big ass trailer at home and I can just put it right in the trailer and throw it away. I do like a dump run every like two weeks with my trailer. Especially I do more dump runs when I do storage units, which I haven't gotten one in like a week and a half, two weeks. But just to have the trailer at home, knowing I can throw it out, does help my mental state along to be like just grab it just grab it and then you can throw it out later i might actually come back for that mattress for the stump video when i was younger when i was like 18 i think i was 17 going on 18 i went to a stunt school in florida and learned myself how to do high falls which is basically jumping off of a high platform or a building it's like a movie stunt but you jump off of something high and make it look like you know you're falling through the air but you end up actually uh using a mat to catch yourself so that's the general idea behind getting the mattresses and the mats those mats right there are actually good for the stunt so wow i gotta get them check this out this is kind of funny i almost just went right by it But there it is, a little baby chair. Let's see, the condition. This is like a little thin chair. Oh no, it's broken. I would never, uh, I could never let Finn sit in that. Too crazy. All right, we got some flippers, maybe an old wetsuit. Let's see what this is all about. The picking's coming to an end. There's really only like one good street left. But let's see what this is all about. We got this little thing. I would say pass on that. This guy, which should not be getting thrown out. It's kind of rude. But uh, it is what it is. A little wetsuit. Some flippies. Definitely not a big score, but something to add to the collection. Never know. Could be worth it. All right, I actually drove back around to check out what this was. It looks like a, some kind of a duffel bag but they put it on top of the trash can. Either way, I just scooped this thing without even getting out of the car. So look at that. That's probably gonna be the last thing we pick up today just because I basically went through every street. But nice travel duffel bag suitcase thing. So that's, that's pretty good, not a bad score. I had my eye on that when I passed before. All right, so that's probably all we're gonna find today. So I just took a drive and just parked right here down by the bay. So, what is, look at all these like little fish right here. Wow. All right, let me get up here, this is crazy. It's like fish jumping. This is a good place to actually jump in the bay where we used to jump in the bay when we were kids right here in this same spot all the time. Look at that. Just like little schools of minnows everywhere. See them? I guess that's what it is. All right, so this is probably as good a place as any to tell this quick story. Not gonna drag on with it, but we grew up in Pennsylvania, right? My family lived up in basically the mountains of Pennsylvania in a small little municipality, wouldn't even call it a town, called Birch Runville. 
I would have had to have only been like six years old, anywhere from like six to eight years old. And my parents bought a house that was a shore house, like a, a beach house here in this specific town. So in the early 90s or mid 90s, you could actually purchase properties in this town for like $100,000. $150,000 and now they're worth like a million literally it it maxed out by like 10 times the property value over the last I mean it's been like 30 years literally 25 years so my dad did purchase a property here a few streets over and he actually purchased a second property later later in life for a very good price as well but either way there was a bunch of normal people that would come down here from Pennsylvania, from other places, and do their summers here, and then go back uh, to Pennsylvania like for the rest of the year. So that's what we did. And eventually we moved down here. I moved here, bought a house in Summers Point over the bridge that way. But there was other people who came down too from Pennsylvania, other kids that were like the same situation as us. So I knew this, where I was just picking up the TVs, the lady was outside with her dog. And I'm gonna get in the car because it's just better. I know her daughters, or at least one of her daughters, really, really well. Haven't talked to her in 10 years, probably. But when we were kids, we were really good friends. She knows exactly who I am. So I got the TVs, put them in the car. The one TV was across from her house. She was outside with her dog, and I literally waved and said, hey thinking she would just, you know, be like, hi, because she knows exactly who I am. There's no freaking way that she doesn't know who I am. I've had a white truck since I was like 15, still have a white truck. I look the same and I was picking trash. I've always picked trash in this town my entire life. So either way, she literally just looked at me and went like, she maybe did a little head nod, but she freaking her whole face was like, I'm not going to name names, not going to say who it is. There is something so messed up about the judgment, the entitlement, the arrogance of certain people. She has always thought that her and her family was like above us, right? Above me, which that's fine. I don't really give a shit. But to fast forward like 20 years and for me to be at the place that I am in my life and for her to still look down on me the way that she always has, it's actually amazing life can be like that i mean trust me there's a lot of reasons why people think the way that they do you know miserable marriage unhappy with their job unhappy with their life so you know they take it out on their people i'm the same doing the same thing that i've always done still smiling and very successful at living my like i carved literally my own piece of the world out cut it out I didn't go along with anybody else's idea of how I should live. It's just crazy that it could even be real. It's It blows my mind the way people see themselves and their place in the world as if anybody is actually better than anyone else. Nothing makes you better than someone else and especially not in that scenario. So I don't know. I just wanted to put that on here. I just have such a problem judging people based on their socioeconomic status more than judging somebody on their heart. And I have a feeling a lot of people watching have a problem with that too. But I can't worry about it. I don't worry about it. I just think that everybody needs to wake up to the reality of, of life. Open your mind, but also open your heart to people that you might not know that come from different backgrounds, different places, different everything and just expand the world view just expand your world view and be accepting of new things that weren't part of your life before and i feel like that actually is a good set of traits to have as somebody who likes making videos or wants to be a filmmaker because if you can open your mind and open your world view and open your heart to different things different places different people and not judge them off of anything but who they are in their heart, then you could definitely grow as a person, but you can also get really good footage. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just happy that I think the way that I do instead of thinking the way that other people do around here.
specifically. But let's go home, eat some breakfast with the family. It's been a successful day. I'll show you guys what I actually got later today when I'm when I get settled. Okay, made it back to the house with everything I got. It wasn't a gangbusters day out there picking, but this is what I did find. Look at this, five TVs. That one works, no signal. This one works, just says no signal as well. There's the menu, needs to be cleaned. The big guy works, see that? This I don't have a cord for. It does have a DVD player though, so I need to figure that out. And then this guy works. Obviously it's not gonna go on because they're not connected to anything. No remotes for any of them, but to find five TVs in one day, that's pretty incredible actually. I don't know if I ever found that many TVs before. So I got this duffel bag, suitcase thing. It's not bad. It's an Adidas bag. This is the typical stuff that you would find down here by the beach. Fishing rods, flippers, three sets, a small size wetsuit. Uh, it's not tiny, but it's pretty small. And then two body, body boards. And I found a couple other things that aren't of super importance, but this is what we got. It was a success, successful day out there. And every time you go out, it's exciting because you never know what you're gonna find, and you never know unless you go. I'll stick to that claim for as long as possible. But the reality is the joy of the hunt and the anticipation of what you might find is what keeps me coming back every time. So to go come away with all this, I'm satisfied. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's trash picking video. And it's getting to that time of year when this stuff's gonna start getting better in about a month, and it's on, so. Stay tuned, be prepared for upcoming videos, trash picking videos. So hit that thumbs up please if you like the video. Leave a comment because it helps with the algorithm. And if this is your first time here or if you've been unsure of the channel but you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button. Turn your post notifications on so when you when you upload a new video you'll get notified. And the dream continues. We got a bunch of other stuff we got to do today. But first I'm gonna go inside, take a shower, cause I'm dripping wet. You really have to get on these things early in the morning, otherwise this time of year, you're not gonna get that much done because the sun and the humidity are so draining. But the dream continues everybody. I will see y'all in the next one. Peace. All right, here we are the extra content, the extra footage, Finley Magic goes to Walmart. Finley Magic goes to Walmart. Beanstalk. Is she about to get a botsy? If she wants it, do you want a baba? <laughs> yeah, you do, mama. I can hold this. She's like, That's my girl right there. Alright, and I got snacks and yogurt, so. Let's she go. literally did that so perfectly, it was the best. Well, she's perfect, so. <laughs> Channel? Sorry. You two must be getting big. I never, before like the last three years, nobody's ever asked about YouTube. That lady was like, what's the channel? I see that you're filming. And then she put it in and subscribed right there on the spot. Cool. So one more subscriber just from going to Walmart. They saw Finn, she saw Finn and she was like, I have to subscribe to this. Look at the humidity is next level though out here. All right, let's get this car. Not that one. Let's see, is this one good? Sometimes they have crazy carts in here though. Like this one has a weird thing in it. 
I'll just get this one. Bread selection's not looking that good. Yeah, they are. They have Dave's bread. Wow. Dave literally did. Check this. Dave's the... August 23rd? That's not bad. No, August 23rd's not bad at all. Alright, we'll get this one. The small guy, right? Dave's bread. Check this out. You got to get the key lime flips though, because they have all these little white chocolates in there and graham crackers. Because that's the good stuff. Let's go down to the next aisle here. What are we thinking? Ultra strong with the bunny on it? Or should we just get cotton now? I mean, I'm a cotton now. You are a cotton now, girl? Yeah. How about quilted I mean, I'm, northern? I love the quilted northern pick girl. Have you ever had that? <laughs> I tried it. Is that the song? Yo, no. This is the type of stuff that likes to fog up here. What is it? What do we got here? With bleach? Zero percent bleach. Okay. Lysol. Smells right. Okay. Smells good. That doesn't It's good, it's, it's good. good. It's not good, actually, but... There's latex-free glo gloves right there. Oh, they're latex. Maybe next time. Ooh. They have the smaller ones in the back, right? Looks like it's 12 months. Where? It's pumpkin. That's, That's pretty good. And look, Stitch. 12 months. It's Stitch. They don't have a zipper though. <laughs> I know, it would be brutal to put it on and off. That's Where pretty nice. Where are these at? This is 18 months. Should I get it for anyone? Nah, but that might be the last one. I can shrink it. I have an issue. Because, <laughs> like, look how cool this one is. She might be tall enough for this. Wow, this is fun. Alright, here we go. Here we go. This is just how Mark is like, oh. The little pumpkin shirts. Well, the great pumpkin. This is too big for her now. That one right there. It's so cute. Focus, focus. All right, we haven't been to this Walmart in a long time, so we're gonna go down the baby aisle. Finn, look. Oh wait. Nice. Where are the, the cars? Keep going. The dino? No, like the actual electric yeah, car. Toy section here is so this is good. literally like Toys R Us. No wonder Toys R Us isn't in business anymore. Look at all the toys in here. I'll show you what we need to get for beans. Right here, this aisle. Oh, they don't even have any. They don't really even have them. They have the, the Jeep. That's all right. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Oh my God, they have a Hello that, Kitty the Hello horse? Kitty one. Oh my God. That's it. That's the one. They need to So good. Yo, we need this for you. For you. Uh uh. Yo. I might just fall apart if I sat in there. The frozen one? It doesn't matter. Look at that thing. The Hello Kitty is not. Uh, it's not in stock here though, is it? Ooh, they're so cute! Look at these! Pink and pretty! 
She has her pads. I know, but these are so cute. And then a the little... You gotta hit it like this. Oh, like that, yeah. This is why we came here. If they don't have it, we're not gonna be happy campers here. Here we go, they got it. Bam, one. One. Bam, two. Two. Three. Three. And four. They only have four. They only have four at the other one, too. So we're redoing the back room in our house, Lucky's room, and we started putting wallpaper up, this exact one. Wow, it looks great. We need probably two more on top of these four. We're just gonna have to wait for the restock. The only thing is though, like, for other, there's no other ones that are even cool, really. The lemons, I love That's pretty cool, that. actually, that's legit. Which ones do you like, Finn? Which ones do you like? Oh, those are just, nah, it's a whole slab, right? Oh, you just peel them off and make your own design. That's super, it's all right. It's not bad. This is the best one though, the one we have. small spaces. Oh, all right, show the tails you got. I got two of these. Look how big these are though. This is like a legit beach towel. It's nice. They're long. Alright, we scored today. And then we got a bath mat too. It matches the shower curtain that I have, the cloth shower curtain that has rubber duckies on it. And two plates made in the USA. You gotta be careful sometimes. When they're made in China, there is potential heavy metals in the products. If people didn't know that, it's possible. I'm like weird with the bath mats because I had bought fairly expensive bath mats from Target just because it's across the street. Um, but I like to wash our bath mats and I use bath mats like in the hallway too and in Finn's room. But the rubber on the bottom started like coming off in the wash and that's just yuck. So we ended up throwing them out. So we'll see how this Walmart one does because this one was $15 compared to like 40 so you can wash this too supposedly I'll let you guys know I mean this is rubber on the bottom too we'll see I don't know the Sherpa throw is what's up though look at this okay no I just like pure comfort is it I should get my blanket for the trampoline here. Oh yeah. Let's see if they have another section. I feel like there's no way it's this small. They're blank section. I'm all about the sharp sharp. Alright, I don't know if anybody remembers that company Claire's, the one that's in all the malls in America. All the malls are closing, so they started doing all these cutouts at different stores. So Claire's is coming to your local Walmart. Be prepared. This is Sammy's favorite store. Look, and it has like a little couple. I was a Claire's girl for sure, so. Diary. I love anything with like sparkles and fur on it. <laughs> and what should we get? What oh my gosh, we get? get What's on that side? Like this Ooh. little cupcake purse, and you can store all your goodies in it. Like all your secret stuff. Oh, they over by me. Oh my gosh. A Claire's baby? A Claire's yeah. section for babies. Are you hearing this, babe? Oh, we got to throw the thing. Oh. And I have it everywhere. Yeah. Little, little soft things. Oh, yeah. Oh. So I don't know what they have left. Not only did we nail it and get the wallpaper and everything else, we nailed life and made it totally complete and got Philadelphia soft pretzels. They got the rivet shaker. No way, no we didn't. No, we did not do it. With the honey mustard. Mmm, my mouth is watering and Finn's about to get some of this. Or not. Look at this guy.
true rebel. Couldn't wait any longer. I got spicy mustard because, you know, I'm a spicy girl. I'm gonna test it, test out the Maze Landing Philly pretzel place. Finn needs a bite. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Worth getting. I don't know why you would get that though, over the honey mustard. It's almost like, how could you ever? Because honestly, honey mustard just gets bland sometimes. You need to spice it up. Honey mustard is the perfect. Yeah, you're right. It's bland enough to use on almost everything now. Like, I like honey mustard on chicken. Really? I saw you using Chick-fil-A sauce on chicken. I would drink Chick-fil-A sauce out of a bottle. What is Chick-fil-A sauce? I don't know. Actually, what is it? Is it like ketchup and mayo? Like how? No. <laughs> Honestly, I have no idea. I might, I don't want to know what is in Chick-fil-A sauce. I think it's probably nothing crazy, but. Did you give her a piece of yours? Yeah. Okay. She's like, this is so freaking bland. I wish I had some honey mustard. Just make sure it's like the soft part in the It middle. is, yeah. I love Chick-fil-A though. I know I shouldn't. Here. Take these two pieces. But I'm not really even, I'm not a pretzel person. Like I'm probably not going to eat these. I'm just gonna eat two and then he can have the rest. Cause I wanna go to Chick-fil-A on chicken. I mean honestly the Philadelphia pretzels are the pretzels that they used to sell at Wawa and then Wawa started making their own pretzels. That are not as good. No. Nah. But they used to deliver these to Wawa like every day fresh. And when they realized they couldn't do that anymore, they started opening up those stores everywhere. Okay, this is the end of the video. Thank you all for everyone who commented on the citywide yard sale video. The hat giveaway is about to go down right now. So, giving away this hat, it's new. It's still got the plastic inside. New old, you could say new old stock plus the sticker pack so completely free if you win i'll mail it to you you don't have to pay for anything but if you do get a telegram message or any kind of comment or message on youtube saying that you won something and to message them on telegram do not respond to that that is not real um, they're trying to scam you and that's been a serious problem that we've been dealing with for years now so if there's a giveaway, it will be announced in a video. It's not just going to randomly come up on the comment section. Let's do this. I'm recording the screen. We got 478 unique comments from different users on this video. So thank you all for commenting. Let's see who won. Oh, Teresa Miller. There was a short-term fad on see-through merchandise. Does that mean because of the TV? This is the comment that she wrote, but Teresa Miller is the winner of the hat and the sticker packs. She said, that was a great gesture for the shirt. She tried to give her more, the dream continues. I tried to just give her 10 bucks for all of those vintage shirts. If you haven't seen the video, please go check it out. It's our most viewed video in the last couple weeks. Uh, we had a lot of fun at the yard sales and the more comments and views, the better for us. So. Definitely go check it out if you missed that one. Teresa Miller, you are the winner. I will comment to you on the post and let you know. But all you have to do is email me. And so here it is. Here's the comment. That's the person who won. Email me and I will send it out to you. Just let me know if you want to send it to a PO box, an address, wherever you want. No problem. I'll put it in a box and I'll send it out. But that is the video today. We will be doing more giveaways in the future. We will be doing, I'm going to advertise this in the next video, but we will be doing a very, very unique whatnot live show coming this Tuesday. 
So today's Sunday, obviously. So in two days, I think around six, maybe 7 p.m. actually, because that's when the sun gets down low enough. 6.30, 7 p.m. on whatnot. I will confirm it on our Facebook page. This Tuesday, in two days, the 22nd, we are gonna be doing something really, really cool and super unique, something that has never been done before on whatnot on a live show ever. So be sure to follow our page on whatnot. I will leave all the information in the link in the description. And in the next video, I will explain more. Hopefully I can get it out tomorrow. Hmm. Not sure if I'll be able to do that, but join whatnot through our link and you'll get, you'll not only be able to experience this with us. So I'll just say it's going to be a live stunt. There's going to be something real crazy going on on whatnot on our show. But if you have not signed up, now's your chance. If you sign up through our link, which I'll just, I'll post the, what you got to do right here underneath me talking, uh, you will get $15 for free to spend on the app wherever you want. You can use either a computer to watch the, the, the live show or you can use your phone. All you got to do is sign up and you get $15 just for signing up. So you can use that in the auction, but you can also just come just to watch the stunt because it is gonna be totally gnarly. So hope to see everyone there. Tuesday, August 22nd, be there. I wanna say 6 p.m., but it could be 7 p.m., one or the other, but be there. It's gonna be a fun time. It's gonna We're gonna be breaking the mold completely in this live show. So as many people as can come, I would really appreciate it. But that's the end of the video. Until next time, keep pushing everyone. And we will see you all next time. Peace.